Hey everyone, in this video we are going to take a look at the free to use 3D modeling application Magic of Voxel. Magic of Voxel can be downloaded from GitHub. So in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a few blocks that will be utilized in an upcoming Unity tutorial. So I'm going to do uh, how to make a Minecraft Voxel type game tutorial. And then usually when I make those tutorials, people ask me, well, how do I get the assets? So I'm going to make the assets first, at least a few of them. And that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. Okay, so we're basically going to make four or five blocks today. So when you first create a new project, by default, you get this 40 by 40 by 40 block. We're actually going to keep those dimensions because as fate would have it, that comes out to exactly four unity units in each direction on each axis. So that works out great because if you put the first block at, say, 0, 0, 0, then the next block would be at 0, uh, well, it depends which axis we're talking about, 4, 0, 0, and then 8, 0, 0, and then 12, 0, 0, so on and so forth. So in other words, you don't have to do any complex math. It's just incrementing by four. So if you did this 20, 20, 20, then it would be an increment of two. If you did 10, 10, 10, it'd be an increment of one. The reason why I'm not going to do 10, 10, 10 is because only 10 blocks in each direction really doesn't give you a lot of detail. So by doing 40, you can do more detail without being too, uh, too cumbersome. Because again, being a voxel game, it's not highly detailed anyways. Okay, so we're going to start with the 40, 40, 40, and we're going to make a dirt block first. So all six sides will have like a dirt texture. So we're going to do, we're going to just paint this. So as I've mentioned before, there are six tools with three modes. So make sure you're in the paint mode and then choose a color. Let's take this brown here and then choose the tool. So you can do this a few ways. You could do facing. And then just left click and it paints the facing. To rotate, that's just hold right mouse button and then move the mouse. Click, 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 click. Now you could leave it like that, but typically you see at least a you know, at least a scattering, like some dots to make it look like it's dirt, like you got some soil or whatever else. So let's take a slightly darker brown. Let's take Let's take this one. How's that look? Whoops. Already made a first mistake. I still had it on facing. So for this, we'd turn it to V for just a dot. And that's okay. And I'm just randomly putting dots. Nothing really special. And certainly you could use different colors. Maybe put in a few specks of black. A few specks of maybe gray. Purely aesthetic. Whatever you think looks right. This is more... A how to rather than making high end assets. And honestly, you could make these right in Unity if you want, but I figured this would be a two for one. You get to see another tutorial on Magic of Voxel as well as be able to use this, uh, use the assets for the upcoming project. And again, I'm just I'm just using the V tool. So it's a free draw tool. So even though I'm only putting a dot, you could draw a whole line if you wanted to. And by the way, control Z, undo. So that's a typical Windows soft key. So this would be used for a, a clump of ground that is not above surface to begin with. Because if it was, then you'd have grass. Did I miss any sides? Just the bottom. So not difficult. Okay, so what do we do with this? Well, two things. First, make sure you save your project. Use this icon up here, and when you do, make sure you save it in the Vox folder, because if you do, it'll then display here, which makes working on project easier, because you can have all these showing up at the same time, okay? So that's how you save the project. How you get it into Unity, when you create the Unity project, you're going to click on, uh, after you've created the Unity project, you're going to click on Export, click on OBJ, and put the, uh, the, and save the object file into the Unity folder, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to wind up getting three files. You're going to get an OBJ file. You're going to get an MTL, which is a material file, and then there's going to be a PNG. So those are those all three need to be 
there to be to, to so this imports correctly so in short that's why you save it there that way you don't save it to somewhere else and then have to drag and drop those three uh, uh, those three files you can just save them in the right place to begin with okay so I'm going to do that and we'll be right back and we're back and you can now see dirt block shows up here so again you click on save it should automatically open up to the Vox folder. If not, just navigate to it and save it there. And then, like I said, don't forget to also export the OBJ into the Unity folder. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to modify it to be a grass block where the top is grass. So to do that, let's choose a green color and let's choose block. And I believe we should be able to do this just with a left click and drag, there we go. Now, as you can see, whenever you paint a block, it paints all sides of the block, even though you only clicked on one facing. So this already comes down slightly. That's probably not enough. We probably want this to come down a little bit more. So still using the combination of the block tool in paint mode, just left click and drag and bring that down a couple more. And the reason why I don't drag it down more is because the next step is I'm going to draw like a little straggles coming down a little bit further too. And again, I'm doing this ultra simple. If you want to actually like draw horizontal lines, kind of like seeing like dirt that's really been compressed, that is purely an aesthetic choice. You absolutely can do that if you choose to. All right. So now we change to the V tool. We're going to keep the same color green. And now we just kind of like draw some, let's undo that. That didn't squiggle very well. It's better. And I'd say just to make it look random, do your best to not have them look the same. Just have them be slightly different lengths, different widths. And also keep in mind that you're like ultra close up, so it might not look right. You know, in game, it's going to look more like that. So keep that in mind when you're trying to decide how much detail you need. And the thing is, you can always come back and change the model and re-export it to Unity and it doesn't break anything. But that aspect of it we'll cover in a separate video. Almost done already. And there you go. So now we have a grass block. So rinse and repeat. You click up here, you choose save, you save it to the Vox folder, it'll show up here, and then export it to the Unity folder, and it should save all three files the OBJ, the MTL and the PNG, and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back, and now you can see grass block is here as an addition to dirt block. So the last thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit more painting, but we're also gonna start modifying this because usually in a game like Minecraft, you have the ability to obviously mine resources, but the approach they take is they usually have a texture that has cracks in it, and it's just swapping out one texture from, for another. We're going to do something slightly more, I, I think it's a little bit more impressive, and that rather than just having cracks appear in the texture, what we're actually going to do, we're going to deform this. We're actually going to put a hole in the top here as if you're digging into it. And it's purely an aesthetic choice. Basically what you do is you wind up swapping out one block for another when you're in Unity, and it's, uh, it's imperceptible. And we'll get to how to do that later, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a, a couple different versions of this. Now, it is possible to, in real time, do what's known as a mesh deform. I have zero interest in getting into do that. It's very calculation heavy, very coordinate heavy, and that's really a tutorial in and of itself. This is really just meant to get you up and going. 
again, proof of concept. You can always change this process for a mesh deform somewhere down the road. Okay, so what do we do? Well, what we do, we now go to erase and let's go to circle and let's just start towards the center and we go out. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to erase that one. So we go to V, get rid of that. And so now you have a little bit of a dig in. However, um, that's not very deep. So depending how much of a change you want for each one. In fact, what I'm going to do, let's put the dot back there. So I can, I want to make sure I keep using the same center. Not that it matters that much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a blue block. I erased that, but then I, now I attach a blue block in the middle. There we go. It doesn't have to be the exact center. I'm just being picky. So we take the circle again, and that would be a nice idea. Actually, now that I think about it, if you could go like uh, deeper, you have the ability to do that with like the V tool. You can go to like three, four, five, makes it a larger point, but doesn't seem to be any way to do that with the circle tool. And now it's just rinse and repeat. So we, actually that's making, I'm doing attach, so that was a mistake. So we want to be erase. And you can have it be the exact size or maybe make it, like an actual hole, have it kind of like uh, go in on a diagonal. And so we will again erase, erase, and then didn't think that was right. Erase, erase, and now we place that. Again, I'm only doing this just to make sure I keep the center exactly the same. If case precision is, is important for what you're doing. And then we will do another erase of a circle. And maybe this one won't be quite, this will, it will be a thicker of an edge. And I think that's good. So now what we need to do, we now need to paint these green because if you're being consistent, this is three deep. So you'd want this to be three deep and then this to be ground. So let's go ahead and erase that one point and if we take the eyedropper, we can go, we click on the brown and we click on paint. We can now go back to facing and now that's been painted. Now the other ones need to be painted green. So eyedropper, green, paint. Now the thing is facing won't work really well because of all these breaks. So I probably just as this one, doesn't have really any breaks. I probably should have done the same with that one, but that's okay. That's the part of the reason why we have these tutorials, but we can still clean it up easy enough. So we want paint and we'll use the free tool. And again, even though I'm clicking on the top, the entire block gets painted. So all the sides are painted as well of the individual blocks. And now this one, there's only one break there. So we should be able to do this with the facing. So facing, paint, still green. Actually, there's a couple breaks. Whoops, undo. There you go. And so you'd save this as maybe grass block D1. So like damage level one, that kind of thing, whatever naming makes sense to you. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to export it and then we'll be back to do the final block. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, D1 is now here and we're just going to dig in one more time. And it's really just rinse and repeat. At that point, you can make as many blocks as you want, as many iterations as you want. But I'm going to stop at just three because, again, if you if, if you can go through three, then you can go through 30. Once you see the, the process, it's just rinse and repeat. So let's go back to the circle, erase, 
And let's see how this is going to work out. All right, so we're actually going to use the point tool this time because it's it's going to be harder to try to make this like a nice clean circle again. So we'll just manually cut this up. So again, it's the V tool and then erase. And this time we're not really going for exact circles, just making it wider and deeper. Okay, so let's make that a little bit wider. If you want, you certainly can just like skip ahead because it's just the V tool, it's just erase, and I'm just left clicking and moving the mouse around so it's not really anything that fancy to look at. And also, if you keep moving over the same spot, it doesn't keep erasing. So you have to let go, click, let go, click, that kind of thing. And this one will be messier to paint because it's not nice, smooth surfaces, but we'll make it work. There you go. So now you can see it is definitely substantially deeper. And now it's just a matter of painting these green. So if we again take the V tool, go to attach, and then, oops, sorry, not attach, my apologies, paint. Got to get the right tool. And some of these that are connected, you could do facing. So like all that gets painted at the same time. And it depends how eagle-eyed you think your players are. Maybe you don't have to exactly do three. I just try to have consistency visually, but I might get lazy and not. Again, this is just meant to be a tutorial. It's not like I'm providing uh, the asset for a production project, or should I say a commercial project. And got a couple more to erase there. So erase V. And so now the rest is just making that brown. So again, to make sure you have the same brown, you do the eyedropper. Click, go back to paint, and let's see for facings. Some of these will fill in. And you could try to smooth that out a little bit so it's not quite so jaggedy. It all depends, again, what's the aesthetic you're looking for. So I certainly don't want to waste your time, so I might just jump ahead and save this because that's really the final step. It's just finish painting this in All right, so I think that's just about it. You're getting close to completed. All right, I think I'll probably just finish the rest as far as the painting offline, and then you'll see the final 
in the actual tutorial because that's it. There's really nothing else to d demonstrate. It's uh, it's just doing a little bit of Where's Waldo with a few colors that haven't been changed yet. And then, like I said, you'll see that in the final. Oh, it's got a few that go really deep there. Okay, so that should about do it. So I hope that you have found this useful. And you'll see these assets come back in the Minecraft tutorial. And depending on how many, uh, how many we do in that series, we'll determine if we need to come back and create even more assets. Maybe people want to see some mob assets, that kind of things. Okay, so uh, remember to come up here, save this to the Vox folder. That way it shows up here. And this time save it as like grass block D2. Again, whatever you want to name it. So you know that it's a progression of the, um, you know that it's a progression of the damage. And I think that uh, should do it. I just noticed. Dug a little bit deep there. Okay. So yeah, so save it in the Vox folder and then export to the Unity folder. Folder and again, it should be three files and you need all three for it to work. And you'll see these in the next tutorial for Unity Minecraft. So I hope you found this useful and enjoy your day.